Hello. All right. Pretty excited about this. We are going to play um, this. You get it going. Which way do I want? That way? Or that way? Or... Let's do that for now. Okay. So, FTL Multiverse. It's a mod. I don't know how new it is, but I'm very excited about it. Uh, I've been playing FTL for years. I've got like... <laughs> 1800 hours in it so I'm a big fan I've played all of the mods that I know of anyway I've played Arsenal Plus Captain's Edition um, mods that change up the um, what's the battle at the end the flagship at the end and uh, I've gone through the game oh, shit. <laughs> sorry about that I'm <laughs> breaking shit in my house the fuck there we go uh, I've gone through uh, the game multiple times and uh, done all the achievements, everything, but um, keep coming back to it. Such a great game. If you don't know anything about FTL, firstly, why are you here? But secondly, uh, it's, I think, one of the best design games ever. It's certainly a design masterpiece. It's a fantastic game. So let's get into it. This is the first screen. Let's see what we've got. Uses hyperspace. It's actually two mods. Multiverse, which is a complete overhaul, as far as I know. And then hyperspace, which I don't know where it is. Um, did Captain's Edition use hyperspace? I don't know. Um, let's see. We've got new races, new ships, new beacons, new events, everything. And I know nothing about it. Let's get into it. All right. First is pick a... Let's see. We've got to pick a ship. What do we have unlocked? We have Multiverse Cruiser Slot A. And wait. What happened there? And... Oh, they're both Slot A. Both cruisers. A massive red warship built for colonizing and conquering new realities. This modified Kestrel. Kestrel is kind of like the standard. Uh, the first ship I think you get in the unmodded version. Vanilla version. This modified Kestrel has been through it a lot. It's been out Let's just start with number one, shall we? Yes. Okay, we don't have any other layouts. We have to do achievements here. Who do we get on this? So we've got a human. This is new. What's this? Orchid race. These floral life forms have little in common with earth plants, but can replenish oxygen. Can replenish oxygen. Refills oxygen. Take 2x damage from fire and puts them out at half speed. All right, so keep them away from the fire. But I wonder if that means if you open the doors. No, these will still starve, aren't they? I don't know. All right, so loadout is dual lasers, pierce. It starts with advanced navigator. These augment augmentations will have no effect when this augment is installed. Long range scanners, uh, LR jump, allows the ship to jump to any previously visited beacon and reveals details about surrounding beacons. Let's take it. Start. Hello, and welcome to FTL Multiverse. Before you begin your mission, please select a challenge level. You've been given another chance to, bef to confirm after selecting an option. Okay, so challenge... Uh, a mode for people looking for a harder challenge, but without things getting too out of hand. Uh, starting scrap, none. Starting fuel, 10. Rebel Fleet gains a one jump boost. Harder multiverse mini bosses can spawn. The traveling merchant never gives any gifts. Ooh. Last stand repair beacons will always be under attack by elite rebels. That sounds hard, but let's do it. Confirm the decision. Your challenge level will be set to challenge. Okay, continue. All right, here we go. As you lower the ship out of the hangar, you are once again greeted by the welcoming abyss of space. This sector is under Federation control, and this is where multiverse traveler vessels are dispatched. Don't be tricked, however. Rebel forces still find their way to leak into the sector. Do something on board the ship or do nothing. Well, let's do something. Let's see what that is. <laughs> what do you want to do? I don't know. Oh, okay. Talk to your crew. Check the mission report. Perform a task. Upgrade a system. Do nothing. Can I upgrade a system? do that what system do you want to upgrade well what's our weapon we have dual lasers we can always use engines can we upgrade the engines what do you want to install long range jump oh we can't do either of these we don't have scrap what happens if we click it I can't yeah I don't have scrap all right so never mind with that never mind about installing anything because we don't have any scrap hmm perform a task Let's perform a task and see what this is. What task do you wish to perform, to preform? 
Uh, lay a trap for the fleet. Run a salvage mission. Repair the hull. Never mind. So run a salvage mission might give us some scrap. Scrap. Let's try that first. You might be able to salvage any space junk in the nearby area. How do you wish to proceed? Send out a randomly assorted team. We'll only be able to do this once per sector. Sure. We, your crew found a ton of fuel cells. Though the origin. All right, so we got three fuel out of that. Let's power everything up. We like auto fire. We don't have much juice here. Okay. Jump. Supply, supply. Beacon serves a temporary outpost for the mod first drive. Equip vessels. Okay. Uh, literal remains of the supply depot other than the small helping of scrap. A pirate ship jumps in nearby, nearby disappointed to find the supply depot already destroyed. Alright, we've got nine scripts. Should we attack? Let's attack. Prepare for battle. Pause it. You get ready to prepare for combat. What do you want to do? Do some last minute checkups while we charge the weapons. What's that mean? Do some last minute checkups while we charge the weapons. Let's try it. As the enemy ship approaches, you look for what you can do. There will be no verification for any of these options, so make sure you're set on what you select. Okay, never mind, let's fight. Last minute repairs, no, we don't need that. Convert some scrap to a missile, we don't need missiles. And we don't have enough for that, so never mind, let's fight. You decide not to do anything, prepare to fight. I thought it said there wouldn't be a comp confirmation. All right. Let's see, what do we want to do? God, I haven't played this for a while. What are we going to take out first? Uh, let's see, does Pierce shield appear? Yeah, Pierce shield. Let's go. Shots per charge, two. Normal damage, one. Shield piercing, one. Come on, shoot. Alright, we like the Pierce. <laughs> and, okay, so we already have a fire in, um, shields. Wait, how do we open shields? Oh, really? We have to go this way? There's no way to get to shields other than that? Jeez, that's annoying. Okay. Come on, take out the shields. Let's go. Okay, piloting. Fire out yet? I think it is. Trying to escape. Got him. Alright. See how slow these orchids repair. Pirate ship has been destroyed. The action will no doubt have avenged many civilian lives. The pirate ship appears to have an excess of missiles left behind in the wreckage. Salvage the extra ammunition. Yes, please. Uh, we don't need missiles, but we'll take them. Oh, holy shit. It's on fire. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Wow. Holy shit. The whole fucking thing's on fire. Okay. We need to open everything. Close that. Close that. Close that. Close that. Wow. Wow. Didn't even hear it. I should have seen it there though, look. That was lit. Alright. Are they out yet? I don't know what the orchid means when it says replenishes oxygen. I'm going to try something here. Let's see what happens. If he's in here and I open it, does he lose health? Yeah, he loses health. So, what does that mean? Replenishes oxygen. It's not going up any quicker, is it? No, oxygen going up the same rate. All right. I don't know what that means. Okay, onwards. How much scrap do we have? 30. Should we get a, an engine upgrade straight away? Let's do that. Put that into the engines. Okay, 
we have to go this way. Not surprised to see this beacon has been outfitted with a multiverse supply depot. Many such beacons were constructed by prior multiverse travellers to help repair ships such as yours. Rescan your ID is all it takes until a Federation auto ship is dispatched to transfer over some supplies. Do something on board the ship. Let's try that again, see what we have. Let's talk to the crew this time. Look for the human. I want to talk to the orchid, because I have no idea. You look at yeah, look for your orchid. What do you want to do with your orchid? <laughs> scan their biometrics. Talk to them. Let's see what scan their biometrics is. Species orchid. Subtype? No. Subtype details. Genetic standard. Stats. 0 .06, 0 0.6 extinguishing speed. 200% damage from fire. 80% damage from suffocation. Refills oxygen at 0.5 oxygen per second. So it is refilling faster. All right. So you can do more than... I can do multiple things. Now let's talk to him. Talk to them. Your orchid wants to build a greenhouse aboard the ship. I can talk to all of my crew. Let's talk to the NG. Okay, so scan their biometrics, I guess, just tells you info about them. But we know most, we know what the NG is. So your NG is in a panic state, desperately arguing one of its nanobot components, which has refused to perform its job at doing nothing. You leave your NG alone. Okay, so it's just a narrative thing. Uh, what was under perform? No, check the mission report. We haven't done that either. You are now viewing the mission report. Here you can see any secrets or special events you've encountered on this run. If a category appears empty, it means you have not found anything that goes there yet. Check boss data, special encounter, crew data. Okay, so is there, there's going to be nothing in any of these, I assume, right? Crew data, no. Transport data, no. Okay. Um, let's do nothing. Let's carry on. Store is in distress. We don't have any money, but let's go. Okay. Pirates don't always get along with each other, and since this event, a hostile pirate ship is firing another pirate station. The station's fate looks bleak unless you step in. Yes, we will step in. Rescue the store. Continue. Um, we don't need to do... Let's, let me just check it again. See if there's anything in this last minute. So, repairs... Like, why would you not do that? Oh, well, I guess it uses scrap. But we don't need that now. Convert some scrap into... Uh, do we can get a drone? No, we don't need to do any of that. So let's just fight. Okay. Where are we? What's this? Wuna should be able to take him out, just about. But we are going to go... Here. I want to see how the orchids fight. Now, if they only have a laser, they can't hurt us, right? Unless that's some laser I don't know about. Like, maybe it pierces, but I don't think so. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, we got him. Shipwreck part, you quickly salvage what you can. Defense laser mark one. Rescued the store from the attackers. The store offers owners offer to trade. Very nice. Let's see. What is this defense laser? Was that basic laser? Clyde power one. Charge time nine seconds. One shot per charge. Ten seconds. Two shots per charge. Thirteen seconds. But it's also got piercing. Okay. What can we buy here? Drone control. Backup battery. Climb bay. Nothing. 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 We don't need fuel. We could sell this, but why not just keep it for now? It's only worth 10 anyway. Yeah, that'll do. Alright, let's heal him up. So far, so good. It's very early, but... I don't know if they balanced the combat on this, whether they made it easier or harder or what have you. That's annoying, isn't it? They didn't wait. <laughs> Moving on. I want to go to this store. No, I want to go here first. What are these? Look, purple merchant. This is the location of the traveling merchant. Federation Supply Depot. Because I'm wondering, do I want to go here and then jump back to the store this early? Or do I want to kind of make a run for this? 
I want to make a run for it. So let's go. Because we don't need the store this early in the run, I don't think. We have no money anyway. Uh, Halen ask if they need assistance. Yes. Any help could off be a lifesaver. We only just barely managed to chest away those damn rebels. And they'll no doubt be returning with reinforcements soon. We're undermanned and we may not be able to get past these repairs. Also, this is really confusing because in this game, you're the Federation. You are not the rebels. And I'm so used to the rebels. You're always the rebels, aren't you? Aren't you always the rebels in every movie? The good guys are the rebels, right? Um, and they'll no doubt be returning reinforcements soon. We're undermanned and we won't be able to get these repairs done in time. Off to wait behind longer. So you can lose a turn and fight off the rebels or lend a crew member. We can't lend a crew member. Let's try waiting behind to see what happens. Do we get a bonus? Food pursuit doubled your way. Okay, so let's see if we get anything from that. We're going to do nothing this time. Get straight into the fight. Not sure why you would want to wait behind now that I see that. Unless it's at the end of this event you get like, thanks for waiting behind, here's 30 scrap or something. Good. Shields. Uh, is this the best place for the screen, by the way? Or is it better up there? Or is it better down here? Hang on. Right button? Yeah, let's keep you down there. Sorry about that. Scan the wreckage of the wreckage of the rebel vessel. Here's the rebel squadron is trying to flee after watching Comrades Federation offers thank you and offer payment. So you get a little something, although you might have got that anyway. To be fair, it's possible that that was always going to be the reward for that, not just because you stayed behind. I don't know. We'll see. On. Do I have enough to buy a weapon slot? I could buy a weapon slot and get one more, and I'm going to do that actually. <gasps> Don't have the energy for it though. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. One, two, three jumps. One, two, three. So I'm not going to be able to hit supply, but I can hit the merchant. But did it say on merchant that it won't give any free gifts away in this dif difficulty? Manship hells. Ah, fine prey, fine prey. We honor with most eviscerating arsenal. The Chinese. Are they Asian? <laughs> you sense a cloud to the silver lining and power the weapons. Okay, let's pause. Do nothing. I don't need to repair anything. Uh, we're going to go. Oh, it looks like they're going to board us. Now, do we have doors yet? We do. Can I get there in time? Probably not. Yes. Oh. After all that, I don't need to get there. Let us do this. We're going to starve ourselves of oxygen. Take out the shield. Lovely jubbly. Let's take out their teleportation. So they can't teleport back. What's he like at fighting? Slow. Plants can't fight, apparently. Okay, Mantis ship is no more except to the scrap you take. Lots of fuel. Looks like fuel won't be an issue in this uh, mod. Mm. Alright, everyone healthy? Back we go, let's power up a bit. Get rid of that, get rid of that, there we go. Onwards. Several civilian vessels have landed on nearby moon around a Federation multiverse warp bay. You can see crowds gathering, but you aren't sure why. Investigate. Always. Civilians appear to be protesting, gathering in large groups and holding up signs. It appears the crowd is against the use of multiverse travel, thinking it endangers their way of life. Peter O'Toole. The Federation soldiers hold their ground. That's not Peter O'Toole. And try to fend off the civilians. But it appears the situation is getting heated. Attack one of the civilian vessels. 
Send in a team of crew. Now, if we send in, I bet we lose someone. And if we attack... Are we good guys or bad guys on this? We're bad guys. Let's attack. Oh, look at this weak ship. Oh, I feel guilty now. Do nothing. Do they not even have a gun? Wait, they don't have any weapons? <laughs> they don't have any weapons! I feel terrible! Okay, I guess we are the bad guys if we attack the civilians. Shit. I feel like a bad guy now. Wow. Can I have a look inside the ship to see what they've got? They had nothing in there, man. I get bad reputation. The civilians are forced to flee as the Federation soldiers take this opportunity to retake the block and drive back the protesters. The whole situation goes over with few casualties, save for the civilians you just murdered. <laughs> the Federation staff is thankful for your assistance, though disapproving of your methods and offer some supplies. Okay, that's a great event. I think the Federation are... I think we're the bad guys. Okay. Killed some civilians. Um, our reputation is tarnished already. This is the location of the traveling merchant. Let's see what this thing is. Excited about this. Okay. Are these backgrounds new, by the way? It feels like they are. It looks like you found the traveling merchant yet again. Oh. This isn't going to be a fight. Holy shit. Look at what he's got. You do not attack this ship. Please don't. This isn't a fight, is it? Stranger, stranger. I'm Sylvian, an honest traveling merchant. Perhaps we haven't met yet. I tend to forget. I've traveled the realities fast, and I've seen much that the multiverse has to offer. I'm going to stop doing that now. Maybe we can do some business. See what he's offering? Sell some resources for attack. Well, we're not going to attack. But it is. it does look like this would be a bitch in battle, maybe late game. Five shields, a Zoltan shield, mind control, teleportation. Is that hacking, hacking? Okay, this would be a nightmare fight. What's the R? That's new. In this mod, I don't know what that is. Um, well, sell some resources first. Do we have anything to sell? Maybe we can sell... I wonder if we can finally sell... Um, missiles. Yes, you can. Great. So one of the worst things about vanilla FTL is you, if you're not doing a missile run, you just end up with dozens of missiles and they're all useless. All right, we'll sell them. Yeah, very good. Uh, but, or do you fancy a trade as well? Let's trade, see what they got. Okay, any self-respecting... Uh, breach missiles, no Hydra missiles. No, we just sold you our missiles, mate. Oh, that's it? All right. All right, so how's that different from a store? I guess because you can attack it, and maybe there are some later unique events. Maybe it has some weapons you can only get from him. I don't know. What's this target 20 mean? The other one had target as well. I don't know what that means. Is that a level? Hmm. Let's keep an eye on that. We'll see. Okay, do I have time? Uh, now, what happens if you dive? Okay, so I don't know, what does it say here? Like, I don't know whether or not if you're behind the red, that means trouble. So let's try it. Let's try it. So we've got to find out, right? So, which means that when we go next jump, they'll be ready to overtake us. Which means we might have to fight them. We'll see. You stumble across a forward scout of the rebel fleet. Let's do some checkups and see what we've got. Just to remind us. Last minute repairs we don't need. We don't need that. We don't need drones. That's right, we didn't. Do something else instead. No, that's it. Do nothing. Let's fight. They want to escape. Okay, so we are going to go for their weapons first, and then we're going to see if we can take out their piloting. And we've got someone coming in here. Shot too soon. Why did I do that? Oh, that's good. Okay.
Take out their shields, hopefully. Here we go. Target four. Oh, it's how much... Um, how much hold they've got left. Okay. That's easy enough. That's easy to understand. Have I not had the uh, talk to the crew option again? I'm just having a brain fart. really doesn't look like the oxygen increases faster. Like, is this room increasing faster than this? I guess it is. Yeah, look. This goes white before that. I can't imagine that being that useful. Why would that be useful? Why would you want oxygen in one room to suddenly get faster? Because oxygen is like, it's binary. There is either isn't any and you're in trouble or there is some and you're fine. I'm not sure why you would ever need it to be... Like, I wonder if it's a situation where if you have two of the orchids in a room with, say, a breach, it doesn't actually run out of oxygen. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, jump. Let's see. Okay, so let's see if we have a battery firing against us or we have some rebels already here. We do have rebels. Okay. You found the exit beaten, but the rebels have got here first. So we don't want to remember that. We don't want to dive behind... Uh, the uh, rebel front line. Found the exit beaten, so you must survive long enough to be able to jump out of the sector. Okay. No last minute checkups. Nope. Let's do nothing. Let's just attack. Now, ugh, holy shit. I think we're going to uh, take a bit of a beating here. Oh shit, yeah, we are. Just open up some doors, shall we? Doop, doop, doop. Like that. Take out the oxygen as quickly as we can. Yeah, I think we might be in trouble here. This could be over quickly at this rate. Okay, that helped. Uh, let's see, we really want to try and take out that weapon. Not bad. Pierce missile, pierce bullet. Good. Shit. It's a hard fight, man. Okay, I think we got him now. Right? Come on, come on, quick. Now then. They're still firing at us. That's annoying. Quick, quick, quick. Jump, 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 jump. Okay. Okay, so we know we know we want to get behind that line. Shit. Okay. Uh, free Mantis Turf. <laughs> okay. We need to repair the ship. Oh, I hope they don't have fights as soon as you land. You have entered hyperspeed. Ooh, what's this? Your multi first drive is still charging. Can Take months for it to be ready for the next reality jump. But your hit mission here isn't over yet anyways. Okay. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. You can proceed to your next sector or do something aboard the ship first. Learn about the Atlas. Is that my ship? Is that what it's called? Yes. No, maybe not. The Atlas is used to guide ships through hyperspeed and ensure they do not jump into hazardous conditions. To do this, sectors must enter the coordinates of their start beacon into the Atlas so that ships may be directed to it. Is this just narrative or do I need to remember something here? Am I going to have to write shit down? Your Atlas is currently pulling from the Federation database but may be updated with new coordinates you find on your travels. So maybe you can find secret missions, secret places. Learn about sector classifications. Learn about sector subtypes. What are locations of interest? How do I reroute route locations? What is the rebel threat level return? Okay, one at a time. Learn about sector classifications. Friendly, the faction that controls this sector is allied or on good terms with the Federation. Neutral, hostile, we know what that means. Uncolonized, the sector is not under control by a faction but has been charted. Unmapped. Okay. While in hyperspeed, you have several options. 
Uh, yeah, we want to keep going. Uh, learn about the sector subtypes. Nebula. This sector has high concentration of nebula. Hazard. So we know what these are. These are in the vanilla mod. But when do I get this information? I don't understand. Hmm. We'll keep going. Maybe there's something. What are locations of interest? Locations of interest have been marked in certain sectors to know a possible location that might be a benefit to visit. Usually, I wonder if that's like the, the purple and the orange one that we just saw. These do not come with coordinates attached, so you will have to find them yourself. Some sectors do not have locations of interest marked, but that doesn't mean they don't have any. It only means said location is currently unknown to you as of current. <laughs> uh, what? It only means said location is currently known to you as of current. Some sectors have multiple locations of interest. But how do you find it? What does that mean? How do you... Okay, was there anything else to learn about it? What is the rebel threat level? Okay, the rebel threat can mean a few things. Sectors with a higher threat level have a larger concentration of rebels, but it also represents the chance of encountering an MFK ace. Murder fucking kill? What's MFK? I don't know. Uh, at a fleet controlled beacon in that sector, very low. You will never encounter an MFK ace. Low. 10% chance of appearing here. Medium low, 20%, 30%, 50%, very high, 75%, critically high. All fleet control beacons will have an MFK ace sectors. Will have an MFK ace. Sectors with a high rank, with a rank of high or above, will also always have an ace at their exit beacon. I don't really know what that means. Let's just keep going and then... Uh, oh, okay, so it gives you information. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> it should have just done that right away. So the name of this is the Free Mantis Controlled Sector. That's where we're going to. It is friendly. It's unique is false. It's not unique, but what does that mean? Dominant faction, the Free Mantis. Is that now? I wonder if that means the um, the races actually have factions within them. That's awesome if it does. Okay. Rebel threat level, medium low. Free Mantis have captured this sector from the Zoltan. Though their addiction to pheromones may degrade their intelligence, the Free Mantis are extreme, exceedingly loyal to the Federation. So far, the writing on this game is very good, this mod. If the mod makers happen to watch this, good job on the writing. And I'm a writer. Okay. It doesn't start with a fight, does it? Shit, because I have no shields. The Free Mantis are a nomadic culture of traveling in small clans of ships. Luckily, they often sympathize with the Federation, and you should find little danger in their wandering tribes. Okay, please don't be a fight. Contact the guard. No, let's just ignore him. Uh, let's do something on board the ship. Talk to the crew. Check the mission. Perform a task. Um, well, how much scrap do we have? 65. Let's try upgrading a system. And what do we need? We need a little bit more engines. So let's see if we can do that. 50 scrap. That's expensive. That can't be it, can it? Fitted scrap too few. Why would you ever do that? Long range jump? Oh, I kind of want to know what this is. Let's try it. You're about to install long range jump upgrade. Effects allows you to jump to any previously visited. Oh, no, wait. I don't want that. Don't want that. Because I already have that upgrade. Or I have one that makes that um, irrelevant. Okay, we don't want that. What system do you want to upgrade? Oh, the shields. What can we do with the shields? We can add an ion field. Performance. I want to know what the performance upgrade is. Let's do it. Oh, wait. You are about to install a shield performance upgrade. Shorten shield recharge by 17%. Can be installed up to three times. Wow, that's good. Yeah, let's do it. I'm probably going to regret that. So we're done now with that. Uh, let's do nothing and let's start repairing this ship here actually oh quick let's go hurry up oh the auction did come back pretty quick there but that's such a minor advantage to the plants it doesn't feel worth it to me for me for me that doesn't feel worth it for me Go over there, you can go over here, start repairing that. Get 
the ship back on track. We do need some repairs, actually. It's not desperate, but I don't know. I don't know. In a, in, a, in the normal vanilla game, that's not terrible, but who knows? In this mod, we'll have to see. Okay. Jump. All right, which way are we going? Oh, look, they've got little numbers for the rebel jumps. Number of turns. I like that. Go up there. Nope, can't go up there, so we have to go down here. This is a shitty layout. No, maybe not. There, 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 there. Secret location? Is there a secret location here that we don't know about? I didn't really understand that bit about the secret locations. I don't really know what that meant. Ordinary beacon scans show a particularly large slip tunnel opening nearby. What's a slip tunnel? Someone with an MV drive is jumping in nearby. Multiverse drive. Okay. Apology, stranger. It's really... Nothing personal that we have to kill you. Scraps are a hard commodity. Well, not really, but you can never have enough. That's true. Ooh, they're getting difficult already. We need guns. Damn, Gina. Um, how do we do a hull repair? We lose four fuel. We've got a lot of fuel. You only get one. Wait, one hull point for four scrap. Let's do it, because I want to see what happens. We don't really need one point. Okay, is that it? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Okay, what do we need to do? We need to take out... See if we can take down one of their guns. And then we'll fire the pierce. Nice. Good start. Looks like we need another shield already. Oh, that was shitty. Come on. Nice. Good start. Good, good, good. Let's keep going. Booyah. Uh, two fuel, one drone, 30 scrap. Oh, we got something new. As you start to leave, you do once more the wreckage supplies to find an item. Drone. What does the M mean? I don't know. Let's have a look at this thing. What is this? Current mode anti-missile multipurpose defense drone that can be swapped between anti-missile. Oh look, my my F Lux that changes the color just turned on. Um, that can be swapped between anti-missile and anti-drone mode. It shoots faster than the Mark One. I hate defense drones. They're good when you get to the flagship. Again on vanilla, I don't know. Um, how much is it to upgrade the shields? So that would be 25 and 35 would be 60. And then I need 20 and 25, probably 45. So I still need a bit more scrap. So we're not going to do anything yet. Okay. Train supplies, most of them are small. Wait for the bigger ships to leave and then steal the supplies. They're going to board me, aren't they? Let's do it. Doesn't take long before you hope to stealth the shadows one of the largest ship catches you. Okay. Oh my god, they've got mind control and teleporting. This is going to be over real quick. Your actions here might not... Notoriety increased. Your actions here might not please the free mantis. Continuously performing actions like this and you might start to see negative reactions. Oh my god, this is awesome. You can change their faction. The way they feel about you. Oh. Is there a way to get out of a fight once you start it? Because that's what I feel we want to do here. There's nothing we can do here. Let's just fight. Okay, so... Fuck. Oh, we got so screwed here. This was a terrible decision. Okay, we've got to get this guy in here. Okay, here we go. Starve him. Okay, so uh, what should we do here? We want to hit their weapons. And then we've somehow got to hit mind control, I think. Yep, that'll do. See if I can keep them occupied in here. Come on. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's a tough little battle already. Fuck. Open everything up. Ah, oh, get everyone down here. Heal up. Run, run, run. Go, go, go. Wow. I'm only on sector two, and this is already tough. Exciting. Okay, once the free man shoot tries to escape, but you gun down their engines and mobilizing them. Too terrified to fight back, they hand over their cargo. We've got a recon drone, a, a recon drone, boarding drone. I don't know what that is. Good to see that the old uh, tactics work here, which is just put everyone into your med bay, and then you can't be killed, basically, because you're healing. Okay, we have 93. That's still not enough to upgrade the shields. All right, that was not a good idea to attack the free, uh, to attack the free mantis, so we don't want to do that again. Okay, jump. Let's see. Let's try this. It's not usual for Zoltan ships to get out of the way to attack Federation ships they should be allied with, but an irate Zoltan captain nearby seems to think you're a threat and attacks. Relax. What the fuck with all this mind control already? Wow. Oh my god, that's a flak. It missed. That's good. Um, yeah, I definitely got to upgrade my shields. Also, the mind control lasts a long ass time on this. Even level 1 lasts a long ass time. Okay. Yeah, we got it. No wonder the Dusk Bringers, who are they? Hate the Federation so much when you kill Zoltan ships with such gusto. He attacked me, you muppets. Okay, three fuel, 17 scrap. Okay, I like that. Let's keep some money and go to the merchant. And not attack him. Is he, what's this? Why is there one less here? Okay, he's the same though. Same dude, right? He's got those weird R's that I don't know what they are. Found the traveling merchant. Continue to see what's offering. Let's sell some resources first. Let's see what we've got to sell. So a little bit of ammunition. Let's do that. Nice. Let's see what he's got. He's got a halberd beam, which is always good. I think that takes three... Three weapon power. I wish it told you. I should have pop up there. Or I can buy a utility beam. Here's the problem. I don't know what this stuff does. In a shop, you can see what this does. So you got to know your weapons before you buy from this guy. I want to get that because it's a new weapon, but I don't think I can do it right now. Oh, the other thing is I can't repair the ship here. Could I do it at a regular store? I can't remember. I assume I could. Okay, we need to... Uh, i got to do it. One, two, one, two. Okay, where do we want to go down here? No, we want to go up here. Truders on board, so we're being attacked. An entourage of free mantis. Oh my god, they're already attacking me. Ugh. Okay, do some last minute checkups. Is it worth repairing a point? No. But it is worth getting him in there and then aiming everything. Add their weapons. Okay, we're gonna keep that closed, that closed, that closed, that closed, that closed. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. You're in trouble, mate. How do? Oh, why did I leave all these open? 
That was stupid. All right, he's dead. Oxygen. Yeah, I need some ship repairs pretty quick. Store, beautiful. Uh, the regular hive mantis aren't too eager to be traded with outsiders. The free mantis welcomes visitors. Right. Did my cigarette go right here? Um, so long as they pose no threat to their clan's safety, you do a quick check to make sure your weapons are powered down before asking to strike up a trade. An orchid military vessel was docked nearby. They needed some repairs. They appear to be offering one of the special kernel weapons in return for scrap. I don't have enough. I can't take it. But shit, I wonder what that does. Just a hull, hull beam. Ignore them. Uh, head straight to the store. Yes. Okay. Yes, we can repair here. So let's sell this shit. We don't want that. Oh, we didn't look at this. What does it do? Controllable, controllable reveals adjacent rooms and enemy crew and rapidly hacks and opens doors so it doesn't attack it just opens doors I don't know why you would use this I mean, I'm gonna sell it for now but it's only worth 12 hmm okay what can we buy hacking hacking is so powerful in the vanilla game I'm sure it's the same here uh, maintenance drone, that will be repairing, I assume. Has low health, but repairs quickly, yes. Battle drone, that's uh, to defend you if someone boards you. Defense drone Mark II, basically. It can be swapped between anti-missile and anti-drone. I do like that, actually. I'm not going to do it this run, but uh, in the future, that's definitely worth thinking about on a drone run. It's three power, but you can choose what you need, which is good. It's good. Okay, so let's start fixing the ship. Let's go to about there. What do we need? Anything here? No, no, no. Let's go. Okay. There. Did I make a bad choice here? One, two, three. I can go one, two, three. Okay. You've jumped into the aftermath of what seems to have been a brutal exchange between several ships. Wreckage drifts by your screen and you can still see the remains of the dying ships sparking and breaking apart. It's hard to determine who the combatants were without closer investigation. Let's investigate. Scan the battlefield, find nothing. Okay. Jump. You should really wait for your oxygen to go up a little bit. In case you get oxygen hacked right away. Uh, an NG ship nearby hails you. As a free mantis ship approaches from behind. Danger imminent. Free mantis in pursuit. Request contract. Contact free mantis. Ask for intent. Are we going to piss off the free mantis? Let's contact them. The free mantis captain seems happy to see you and welcomes you to the sector. You waste no time and ask for his intent with the NG. Harm them? No. This war very troubling. Alliances are crucial, and best way is through mutually beneficial agreements is definitely Asian, um, such as trade. But the NG run, we suspect they are afraid. I promise we wish them no harm. Do we trust them? We know. Why would you trust the um, Mantis? Oh. Oh, there was, oh, they were genuine. Okay, fair enough. Um, yeah, we've got 12 scrap for doing nothing. Fair enough. Yeah, you should definitely wait for the oxygen to go up a little bit. So, let's give it a second here. Let's get it to 50. Oh, I kind of want to upgrade my doors. So that I don't have to keep moving him. Let's see. Oh, shit. It's expensive. There might be uh, a special event that upgrades them for you. Okay, so let's go... Right, What is that? Just to check. Pulsar. Pulsar battles usually aren't that bad, but I don't think I have very good weapons, so I'm not going to risk it. I've got to remember I'm not playing this on easy. 
And easy is never easy in this game, it's really hard. Among the many wrecks of what was once a free mantis clan are three rebel ships, their guns blazing. One of the spots you and attacks. Okay, let's see, what have we got here? I don't see what its weapons are. Is it just two burst laders? Lasers? Do nothing. What do you got? Is that four shots or two shots total? I think that's four shots total. No, it's two shots. That's amazing. You know, how am I getting skill ups here? Is this the same? So this ship, if I wanted to, I could just keep firing and upgrading my weapons. This is one of those, uh, this was, you could gimp the uh, vanilla game by a ship that you know cannot harm you, which the ship is. You could literally just fire at its shields and upgrade your weapon skills and your shield and your dodge and all stuff like that. So I could do that with this one. But I won't. I won't. Not that kind of a player. Surrender. Silence their screens with your weapons. No, we're a bad guy. We decided, right? Do you know who I am? I'm vital to the rebellion. Nope. I'm going to kill him. I wonder who he was. Dead. Many vital systems reduced to mere scrap metal. Scrap metal for you to take, that is. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to make that same mistake of getting caught by the rebel fleet. You arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Check the storage. Explore. Let's check the storage. What is that? Why is that check the storage? Fuck. I thought that went back. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, well. Orchid sector. Ooh. Dust bringer settlement. So this is a hard zone. It's in red. This is an easy. And this is nebula. Or hazard. Oh, it's hazard as well. Hazard, hazard, hazard. Okay. Orchid. Okay. Let's go through this again. Event at hyperspeed. Continue. Right, we know about the Atlas now. Or is there something we missed here? Let me just check. You learned about this, learned about... Yep, we knew all of this, right? Okay. Proceed to the Orchid sector. Okay, so Orchid control sector. Friendly, unique force. Dominant faction, the Orchid gathering. Rebel threat level low. Orchids are a peaceful race. Lucky for you, they're specially grown kernel weaponry. It's like popcorn? Makes them powerful enemies, so be glad... The plants will rarely attack you without you attacking first. Cool. Nothing there. Should we contact the guard? Most orchids don't speak verbally despite their species capability. Uh, let's see. The orchid speaks briefly to say hello and falls silent. Because I have an orchid crew. That's why I'm doing this. Request supplies, demand supplies. Request assistant. Nice. The blue is usually a special option, so you want to take it. Okay, jumping on. What's an outpost? I don't know, but we're going there. I really want a better weapon. I'm kind of worrying about this. Buy an unknown slave. No, we do not do slave. We're bad guys, but we don't do the slave thing. So we're going to attack. Even though... We should have thought of this... He has cloaking, and two shields, and hacking, and teleporting. Oh, I wish you could. It's, I wish you could change your mind and get out of one of these. This is going to be tough. Oh, he hacked weapons. All the things to hack. This is bad. This is bad. I'm going to die. Gonna die right here. Okay, well, this is where it is. Shit. Damn it. Wow. Yeah, I'm in trouble here. Definitely. 
Oh, and I can't get out either. Oh my god. Oh, it's all over. I assume it's all over when your crew dies. Possibly I'm wrong. I can't even hear. Alright. Wow. It's tough. All crew members have died. Your ship will continue to drift for eternity. Or until looters destroy it. Score 996. New high score. That's such a low score. I, well, I don't know. The Lord scores may be different on this, but... Wow. So here are my overall stats. You can see how much I've played. And this is after resetting my profile at least twice. So I played the shit out of this game. Uh, this is... I don't know what this is from before I installed the mod. So I don't know why it keeps that. But here we go. Uh, this was when I booted it up just to check that it even worked. And this is the run we just had here. Wait, how can I have two Kestrel swords? We don't have a Kestrel, do we? Let's have a look. Hang on a sec. Let's go to the hangar. MEV or MEV. No, there is no. Okay, there must be holdovers. All right, where are we at? We're at one hour. Okay, we got to see it. I'm going to play it again. Um, I just wanted to boot it up so you got a chance to look at the game. Um, I think it's awesome. I really like it so far. It's hard. It's hard to do battle. I think next time we're going to try this guy here. What have we got here? We've got the halberd beam, which is really good. Um, but so far, so good. It's excellent. A couple of typos, and that's it. Other than that, what a great job they've done. FTL's back on the menu. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right. I will see you next time.